What's going on guys? Welcome to the sixth day of the South Carolina 4 Euro Tour. Thanks so much as always for tuning into our vlog series. We're having a lot of fun. We're in Italy right now. We stayed at the Hotel Reale Fini Baia del Rey. I, I think I pronounced that right. <laughs> But we're about to hop in the 640D Grand Coupe, meet up with um, Tim and the rest of the guys once they head out here. And we're all heading to Bologna to get a factory tour at Pagani. Yes, I'm so excited. That's gonna be so amazing. I don't really know the specific plan, so it's gonna be a little bit of a surprise for me, I guess. But so much more stuff to see today. We're gonna be taking a beautiful scenic route to Monaco after the fact, which I think is around a five hour drive or so, so we probably won't get to Monaco till later this evening, but this is gonna be a packed day. Hope you guys enjoy. And Seb, German Seb, but uh, they forgot the American flag for you, uh, Kyle. Oh. We should have put the baller flag up for all of us. I know, right? All right, guys, we just arrived to Pagani. So let's head on in and check out what they got in the showroom. That's it. You know, you can do whatever you like. Oh. <laughs> it's freezing, right? This is so cool. Alright guys, so this is Wyra number one. This is the first Wyra ever made. It was actually featured in the Transformers movie a while back. Check this thing out. You can definitely tell they get a lot of good use out of it. I mean, there's even salt on the side. Proper supercar being properly used, you gotta love it. I love that two-tone white and black leather too. Very striking. But of course, if you guys know me, you know I'm a sucker for red. I mean, my charger is metallic red and this just with the exposed carbon fiber is really, really, really striking. Unfortunately, it's not sunny today, so we can't really see the sparkle, but if you opt to have part of your Wyra in exposed carbon fiber like this one, it's actually an extra cost. And even more so if you get the entire body in exposed carbon fiber because you have to ha make sure that all of the weave matches everywhere. All of the seams, such as this right here, I don't know if you can see that, but the dividing line in between there. I mean, you definitely pay for what you get. That attention to detail does not come cheap, but man, is it stunning in person. So you guys just saw the original headquarters back that way, but what you see here is the future home of Pagani Automobili. It's currently under construction. We're gonna head inside and check out the temporary assembly location and all that. So yeah, this is pretty much a dream come true. Let's go ahead and head inside. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is the Zonda Nonno, so it's uh, the Zonda number two, and the very first Zonda, that, the, the second Zonda that we made, the first one was made for crash, so this was the prototype for every single Zonda that we did, that we made. Uh, it was the prototype for the Zonda S, the prototype for the Zonda F, of course, for the Cinque, and for all the upgrades that we had during the years. Yeah, wow. Yeah, it's kind of special. It's the special car. <laughs> How many kilometers have you guys put on? Uh, it's more than a million. Wow. More than, let's say more than a million. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, mind that this car is it's almost 20 years old. This has to be one of the most incredible things that I've seen lately. I mean Yes, the car has been upgraded over time. Yes, it's been rebuilt and stuff. But just the fact that this thing has over a million kilometers or, or miles on it, I mean, that's just, that's incredible to me. You almost never hear about that with supercars. And this front end treatment and stuff, and they got the carbon fiber uh, covered across the side. It's all for testing purposes, so it doesn't get messed up, I suppose, like going on the track or something like that. So I have filmed both the Wyra and the Zonda on the channel. The Zonda I did, is actually a Zonda F with um, the Club Sport treatment, but I mean, the Zonda is what originally got me into liking Pagani's in the first place. I mean, they're just so aggressive, yet they're so minimalistic and still have the just crazy attention to details that Pagani has become known for. Plus, you just cannot beat the sound of that naturally aspirated Mercedes AMG V12. If you want to see the video that I did, not on this one, but the Zonda F Club Sport, check the link in the top right hand corner of the video. Alright guys, so we're about to leave Pagani. We're going to take a scenic route on the way to Monaco. It's probably going to be a five hour drive or so. Should be just an amazing drive. I can't wait. Huge thanks to all the folks here being so hospitable. And, I mean, it was such an eye-opening experience actually being able to see these cars built in person. And get a little goodie bag in the process and everything. But hope you guys enjoyed. We're going to hop in the cars. Tim in the 675LT, Mark in the FF, and us in the Grand Coupe way down there. <laughs> so let's go ahead and head off. We starting up. Yeah. Make some noise, Mark. Let's go. <laughs> go. Three, two, one. <laughs> so far. Tim's still in front, I'm in the middle, Mark is in the FF behind, and we actually have about a seven hour drive. So we're gonna drive a little bit, uh, grab some lunch, and then head the long haul to Monaco. are good. <laughs> the all-wheel drive is holding it in tight. Oh, the scenery is breathtaking. I know Mark and the FF behind me is like, go faster. I'm like, I can't. I'm limited by physics. <laughs>
we went ahead and just stopped to get a little bit of a break outside of the cars, fill up on gas and diesel fuel, and resume our journey to Monaco. All right, so we're all topped off with fuel now. I'm in the middle now between the 675 and the FF, and we are continuing our journey to Monaco. I think it'll be about a little over three hours before we get there, 221 miles. Should be a lot more exciting driving roads to come. Um, gosh, we've had so much excitement today, just I mean, the scenery. I mean, like Switzerland, I mean, it's beautiful here. Um, this is the Italy that you always think about when you when you see pictures of it or um, or anything like that. I mean, this is this is beautiful. It's awesome. Gosh, that sounded incredible. Did you get that Ferrari back there? <laughs> Two very, very distinct engine notes. Oh, we got another one. Oh, you see the air brake? <laughs> this is, I will never, never, never forget this. Driving through Italy with a Ferrari FF, a McLaren 675 LT, and the nicest rental car I've ever had. The sun is setting right over the coast. We're just cruising along on the highway. Finding some pretty sweet tunnels to go through, of course. Guys, we got less than 15 miles before we get to our hotel in Monaco. It's been a crazy ride so far and a crazy day. <laughs> Trying to follow Tim and Mark in these two supercars in our diesel Grand Coupe has definitely been one interesting adventure. I feel like the Stig pilot in this thing around these highways. <laughs> but yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed the video so far and uh, yeah, so next stop, Monaco. Here we are, Fairmont Monte Carlo. That's where we're staying for the next two nights. Well guys, that pretty much concludes today's vlog. It's a crazy day. This was the most adventurous day we've had so far. Um, 
a lot of driving, a lot of exciting things to see, a lot of beautiful scenery, and I mean, driving through these countries is just is unbelievable. It's 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 a lifetime experience. I've said it before, and I mean, it, it really is. That's awesome. 